Hi there, welcome to Planify Pro. Thank you so much for signing up. My name is Jennifer and I quickly wanted to show you what you can do and create here on our website. So on Planify Pro, you can create any kind of planner such as daily planners, weeklies, monthlies, and you can use them personally or you can also use them for commercial use and then sell them on your personal website such as Shopify or also on Etsy or Amazon KDP. So when you first open up Planify Pro, you will see this menu here where you can either create a planner or you can um, start with a starter template or you can also access all your saved planners or you can also search for a planner. And if you further scroll down below, you see that there are many pre-made templates which are free to use. You can use all planners by just clicking on them and then you can further customize them or you can download them. And as you see here, it says commercially usable which means that all templates you see here on our front page can be used commercially. So you can use them as is, or you can also further customize them and then sell them on your shop. So you can use them all, all that are listed here. But if you want to search for specific planners, you can click on search for planner. And then this bar will show up where you can type in or search for any kind of keyword, such as weekly, then click search. So different kinds of templates will show up down here below. You see a few have been made by Planify Pro and then others have been made by other users. For example, this first one has been made by Charles Phillips and you're free to use them personally if they're created by others. So you can just click on them, then you can further customize them or export as they are. If you want to use them commercially, make sure you select a planner that has been made by Planify Pro for example, this template here, and then you're good to go. And you can use them commercially and sell them um, on your website or in your shop. So let's say you found a template you really like. Um, let's say, for example, this one here. What you can do is click on it, and then it will open up this template in the Create page. Click on Apply the Planner, and there you go. So from here, I recommend you to first select a size. So up here you see all the menus available. So click on size to select your planner size. This specific planner is in personal size, but if you have an A6 planner, select the A6 size or the A5 size. And you see that the template will automatically resize into the size you have selected. So for this video, I will be selecting the A6, for example. And then from here, you can download it as is. And to do that, click on Save Export. Then select if you want to download the planner on A4 or US letter size, for example, the US size, and then click on Generate PDF. And then an animation will start and the system will start generating your PDF file. So quickly wait until the PDF is generated. And then this download button down here below will show up. So click on it. And then you see it generated you a PDF file with two pages, which can be printed front and back and then inserted into your planner. So this is how you can quickly download PDF files. Now let's go back to the create page and let's say you would like to further customize it. What you can do, for example, is go to the style panel. And then here you can select a different kind of style. For example, um, let's select this jovial style. And then here, if you want to change the colors, go to the next tab where it says color. And you see that there are three different kinds of colors that can be customized. The outline color, which is the colors around the widgets. Or you can also select a different header color, which will change the color of all headers of each widget. Um, or you can also change the line color and this will change the colors of all lines in the widget like this. Now you can also select a pre-made color palette. So if you go to custom colors, you see that all the color palettes will show up down here below and you can click on any color combination and it will apply it to the planner. You can also search for a few. For example, you can search for sky and then all sky color palettes will show down here below and you can click on any of them um, to apply them to your template. 
If you click on the widget, you will also be able to insert new kinds of widgets. So by selecting one widget, the widget panel will show up. And then here you can insert a different widget, a new widget. And then below you can further customize that widget. For example, you can change the header or you can also add a sticker side right and left, which means it will add an empty space. So you can insert a 1.5 inch wide sticker. And then once you're happy with your planner again, click on save export, select your paper size and then click on generate PDF and it will create you a PDF file of this exact template. So click download and here you go. Now I will also quickly show you how you can create a new planner from scratch. So if you click here on the front page on create planner, it will open you up a new template, uh, which looks like this. And then from here, you can go to layout. And then here you can select a new layout into um, this template. So you can select any kind of layout, one with five boxes, uh, six boxes, but let's select a simple one such as this one and then the same for the right side and here you go. So from here to insert a widget, click on the box you want to insert a widget in. So for example, this one here, then on the right side, the widget panel will show up and here you can insert any kind of widget. So for example, you can add a calendar and then in the setting, you can further customize it, for example, change the year and month of the calendar. So right now it's February 2022. Here you go. You can adjust the amount of rows. And then you can also um, select a new um, month start. So if you want to have the calendar start on Sunday, you can click Sunday or Monday. And then below, let's add a to-do list. So click on the lower box, then in the setting, you can filter for to do and then add this list widget into it. Then in the settings again, you can adjust the amount of rows. You can insert a new icon like this. You can add hearts or stars or rectangles. You can also change the colors, make it bigger, smaller. And then let's change the header to tasks. And then in the next box, let's add a grid widget. So let's search for notes and add a grid widget. And in the setting, let's change the text to notes. And there you go. Then to add a header to your template, you can click on text on the H1. And then under title types, um, you can click to activate a header like this. You can type in something new such as monthly planner and then you can go to the fonts and select a new font. For example, uh, this one here. And maybe set the font size to 40 or maybe make it a bit smaller, 33. And then lastly, you can also select a new styling like I showed you before have it rounded, original, um, simple like this, or you can also select a minimal style which has no outline. But let me select the jovial thin for this video. And then to change the colors, go to the color menu. And then for example, select a new outline color such as maybe black and maybe a gray header. So this will be a more neutral planner. And for the line color, let's select gray as well, like this. And there you go. So here is a February planner with a task list and notes. Now, if you want to copy paste this to the right side, you can do that by clicking up here where it says L to R, which means copy the left page to the right page. You can click on that button and now it copied the left to the right page. And here you can also maybe set the calendar to March. So click on it and in the settings, 
select or type in number three for March and there you go. So once you're happy with your template, what you can do is click on save export and then select the paper size you're exporting the planner on. So for example, the A4 size and then click on generate PDF and let the system generate you a PDF file. Then click on download and here you go. And one last thing I would like to show you is that you can also add stickers and decorate your planner sprites. For example, on the left side, if you click on sticker, it will pull you up the sticker selection on the right side. And here you can, for example, add stickers from the animal collection or autumn, or you can add alphabets. And um, we have tons of different kinds of sticker collections. Um, we just recently added the cherry blossoms. So if you search for cherry blossom, these should show up and then you can click on any kind of sticker. It will apply to the template. And from here, you can drag it freely around and place it to any place on the template and then decorate it to your liking. So for example, like this, I just add random stickers on the template. And once uh, your planner is decorated and you love how it looks like, you can go back to export PDF, select on what paper you will be printing the planner out, for example, A4, and then click on generate PDF. And then again, it will generate you a PDF file that looks exactly like what you've created here. So click on download PDF and there you go. So I hope this quick tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will always try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Or you can also join our Facebook group and also post your feature requests there or any other questions you have. And then the community will always try to help you out as good as they can. Thank you for watching. Bye.